Hey, what's up, team? Good morning. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope everybody had a really, really good, productive weekend. Uh, I know uh, it was pretty good over here on this on this side. Uh, happy uh, belated Mother's Day to all my students, you know, all, all the mothers. Uh, hope you guys did something real special for your mom this weekend, whether it be just left her alone, let her sleep, uh, made her a little breakfast or something like that, or um, just did something, maybe... You know, maybe clean the house up, you know what I mean? Anything, right? Just to make mom's day a little bit easier uh, for you, for her, excuse me, uh, for her. Uh, today, uh, today, man, it's kind of, I'm, I'm outside here working out. Uh, this just got done. And uh, uh, it was something I was thinking about as um, I was looking at everybody watering their yards out here today. And, uh, one of the things, one of the biggest lessons um, I got this year was about watering your own grass. And I know that it always seems like, you know, we always think that things are better other places, that things are better everywhere else. And um, I was talking to one of our admin one day, and um, he told me, he said, Jones, he said, let me tell you something, man. He said, don't be worried about the grass being green on the other side, water your own grass. And it, it really uh, it gave me some, some perspective on some different things. We, we were talking about something, and uh, it gave me some, some perspective on some things that were going on in my life at the time. And I said, you know what? I'm going to take the time out to water my own grass instead of looking at everybody else's grass being greener than mine. Uh, usually when the grass is green on the other side, it usually means there's a lot more you-know-what in the ground that's fertilizing that grass. And so what I had to start doing was is worrying about me, worrying about watering my own grass. Um, I don't know if you, I know I'm pretty sure some of you guys have seen the commercials. I think it's the Geico commercials where it's like, um, you know, the Geico commercial where they say, we can't help you from becoming like your parents. We can help you bundle. And so when I first moved into my neighborhood over here, I started becoming like my parents, right? Like, I would look at other people's yard and be like, why they ain't cut the yard? Like, what's going on over there? Like, why they ain't cut their grass? And, man, I'm over here, you know, we cut not, you know. And I just was, you know, I was becoming like the old man in the neighborhood. Not a good thing, right? <laughs> not good at all. And um, one of the biggest things I had to think about was like, okay, first of all, worry about your yard. Don't worry about nobody else's yard. I know you want the neighborhood to look good, yada, yada, but first and foremost, worry about your yard first. Stop worrying about what everybody else doing in their yard and in their house. So I had to come back and check myself, right, because I can't be worried about what somebody else is doing. And so the message I'm giving you guys I hear today is this, right? Water your own grass. That's something I want to, you know, I know uh, this may not stick with you until August, but I want to be out here so that way when you hear me say this, come, when we come back to school, understand something. The one thing I'm going to say in my office when you come to talk to me about something that's going on, and you like, oh, Mr. Jones, they, you know, whatever, and I'm like, are you watering your grass? Because you worried about something that don't have nothing to do with you. Are you watering your own grass right now? Because you worried about somebody else's yard and worried about their grass being green or you worried about their yard not being cut and ain't got nothing to do with you, water your own grass. Worry about watering your own grass and tending to your own yard before you, be talk before you messing around and talking about somebody else's. Because... Low key, you ain't even trimmed up the edges on your yard. You know what I'm saying? Your flower garden don't look that good. You know, you got to get all that stuff straightened out. So, with that being said, the message for today is, man, water your own grass. All right? Water your own grass. Don't be worried about nobody else's yard. Water your own grass. Make sure your yard is nice and green. It's beautiful. It's pretty. All those good things. And everything else will take care of itself. Don't worry about nothing else. All right? I hope you guys are being safe. Hope you guys uh, are staying on top of your work. All right? Don't think, because like I said again, I think I've said this a number of times. Don't think because we're out of school, quote, unquote, that the work has stopped. We're still doing the work. The work still got to be done. All right, DVMS? Keep the, keep the train rolling, man. Okay? The train don't stop. All right? The train continues to roll no matter what the situation is. The train continues to roll. Keep the doggone train rolling. Let's keep this thing moving in the right direction, and let's keep pushing forward. Okay, guys? Hey, you guys be good. Be safe. We'll see you Wednesday. And remember to be on a mission for success.
to Jones over and out.